All right, and wonderful people, how una day welcome back to Texas TV. We don't carry another open gate, so we can't give una about waiting the sub for palace. Or the information where the riches right now from inside the palace of Oni of Ife is that Queen Naomi is in big trouble right now. We heard that the Oloris that they have teamed up together against Mommy said in a cow they went to hire a lawyer and not just a lawyer as we heard a son to fight for the custody of prince tedenikawo to snatch away prince tedenikawo from queen naomi because yesterday we heard that kbsc was theory kbsc wasn't happy at all that queen naomi left to uk without informing him he has been in a bad mood. He has been sad. So because the KBAC is sad and KBAC has been complaining bitterly in the palace since yesterday that Prince Dardinikawo and uh, his mother left without informing him that he wants Prince Dardinikawo back. The next nice thing where the Oloris do be say, we heard they went into a meeting to discuss on how to snatch Prince Tedenikawo away from Queen Naomi. And they come into conclusion that they are going to hire a lawyer, and not just a lawyer, a son, that will pursue Prince Tedenikawo's custody to make sure they snatch away Prince Tedenikawo from Mommy Tedenikawo so that Queen Naomi can go and get married to another man. That once they take Prince Tedenikawo away from Queen Naomi, that KBAC will be happy that Prince Tedeneka will return back to him and will forget about Mommy Tedeneka. My correct people, I beg, make I agree to now because this story, where they come out of this palace, you don't tie Rapao as KBAC has refused to adhere to the advice the three wise men gave him yesterday. Yeah, they told KBAC, you know exactly what to do. To send this Oloris out. If you cannot do it, let us do it. Let us help you and do what we will do. And you will see the Oloris, they will pack their things and leave the palace without even you asking them to leave. That there are charms they will use on this Oloris and uh, they will leave urgently. But KBS is scared because we heard that if the three wise men make mistake, that the Oloris might run mad. My correct people, I beg make I agree to now before we carry our proko de go. Good morning, afternoon, evening to you, my lovely and wonderful fans. According to your time and time, we will not take that. See this video. Yeah, welcome back to Texas TV, and we are still on the gist about waiting the sub for palace. My correct people, I beg make una carry she sit down, hear this story, because this matter about Queen Naomi and Kabi is a don't let tie rapper. And we don't see it as something that will just end anytime soon. Because Mommy Tedenikawo is now strong headed. He don't endure, endure, endure tire for KBAC. To know whether KBAC will turn to a new leaf, to know whether he will change. But rather, KBAC will keep on, you know, misbehaving because, say, he is a king. And when a woman has had it up to her throat, that is why, through the help of her uncle, they disappeared. To UK, from UK, we heard they are going to Switzerland for Prince Tedenikawo's studies. Because, like I tell you, when Naomi's uncle keep on saying that uh, when Naomi needs to further her education, that when Naomi doesn't need to stay around again. So that she will go there, she will be enlightened, she will be wiser, she will be more intelligent. And when she return back, she go fight this Oloris. However they want it, Mommy Tedenikawa will give it back to them. Penaomi is so calm to our liking. Yeah, she can take everything where the Oloris they dish out. But if she go and come back, she not go fit take nonsense again from them. Yes. She not go fit take all these their uh, bars bulls. When Naomi will give them back to back however they want it. That is why her uncle wants her out to be more wiser when she travels out there. And right now, what her uncle wants is happening. 
Even we had yesterday, Kabi is out of anger, stormed Akire Mansion to arrest Queen Naomi's uncle for sending Queen Naomi to UK without her informing him. And we now say if Kabi is being informed that Kabi will not allow Queen Naomi to travel, that one is certain. Yeah, Kabi will never ever allow Mami Tendine Kawo to travel out of the country now that both of them are not in good terms. So that is why Kabi Esi returned back to the palace. Kabi Esi was saddened. Kabi Esi wasn't happy. He was like, how can Queen Naomi break my heart like this? That no woman has ever break my heart. I have never cried for any woman. How can I be crying for Mami Tendine Kawo this way? What, why did I deserve all these things? These are the questions Kabi Esi was asking heartbrokenly. But he forgot to say that whatever that is happening to him right now is what he brought upon himself. Like some said, ah, Kabi Esi cannot do with only one wife. That Kabi Esi is a king. He needs more wives. He needs like six, seven wives. That Kabi Esi can marry as much wife as he wants. That if Queen Naomi doesn't want polygamy, let Queen Naomi leave. Yeah, we know that not all people love Mami Tedenikawa. That is a normal thing. But there are some kings that marry only one wife. So don't talk say that because Kabi Esi is a king, Kabi Esi cannot, cannot stay with one wife. There are so many kings that stick with one wife because they love their wife. Because they do not want to complicate issues. But Kabi Esi, out of lust, complicated everything. And now he is suffering for the consequences of his action. So right now, my correct people, we heard that... Uh, the Olori is seeing Kabi Esi teary because there is a way you will see your husband teary like this. You will run around to make him happy. And that is what is happening in the palace now. The Olori, they saw Kabi Esi teary. Kabi Esi was shedding tears because when Naomi and Prince Tadine Kawo has gone far away. And what they did was that they, are, they went in for emergency meeting. We had attention seeker to meet Beronke and uh, Miriam. They went in for emergency meeting yesterday. They discussed and they agreed that they will hire a lawyer, a son that will go for the custody of Prince Tedinikau. Let them take away Prince Tedinikau from Queen Naomi, but it is very hard. Because I don't think it's possible for, for Prince Tedinikau to leave Queen Naomi now that uh, he's still in a tender age. I think it's 18 years before Prince Tedenekawo can do whatever he wants and choose to go wherever he go. But we know say that all this Gragra where these Oloris they do right now to Pepe Queen Naomi, it is not gonna work. My correct and wonderful people, all the things happening to Kabi Esi, he brought it upon himself until he amends his ways. All this matter will stop. I beg make una chukma for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates to be dropping from time to time about waiting the stuff for palace allegedly.